we want to start everything with a prayer and in a good way. Since this project was taken to ceremony and asking ancestors for guidance and for permission, it's always just appropriate to start with a prayer. <laughs> I work for the Rosebud Sioux Tribe Child Care Services Program. I'm from the Rosebud Indian Reservation in South Central South Dakota. I am of the Lakota Nation. We believe we emerged from the underground. We were taught how to live on earth by the Buffalo Nation. We are the two-legged, the human nation. Our role on earth was to be good relatives to all of creation. We were given instructions on how to live on earth through spiritual, universal, and natural laws. In 1876, the Battle of the Little Bighorn, also known as Custer's Last Stand, was the last battle fought between tribal nations and the United States. It was after this battle that the Lakota captured the flag of the United States. It was after this time our nations were placed on reservations. Assimilation and acculturation policies were developed and enforced and ultimately led to cultural genocide. According to our current studies, our children experience violence directly or indirectly at 100%. Our tribal nations have been rated in the top five poorest counties in the United States. The flags that will fly outside the new facilities will symbolize a time when the language and culture was practiced, a time before colonization. The flags will serve as reminders that we are the Lakota Nation and will continue to teach our children how and what we would have been taught from our relatives. They represent decolonization for our families. Colonization dehumanized us and ultimately set the foundation for the indoctrination of a foreign culture. We are at ground zero in the reestablishment of the next seven generations. Through the wisdom of our elders, oral history, and interpretations of songs and stories, we are constructing a childcare facility with a cultural education curriculum called Protector of the Sacred. It is here that the children will learn bravery, perseverance, generosity, compassion, respect, honor, and wisdom. We will teach children the creation story, history, culture, language, and our relationship with the land, water, plants, animals, and all living things. Our children will laugh, play, sing, dance, practice customs and ceremonies. They will sit in teepees and hear our stories, learn our traditional arts, crafts, and they will play our games. The outdoor classroom will be based on the landforms within the Black Hills. We will recreate our sacred sites and include custom-built play structures of our stories. Children will be taught morals and ethics in this outdoor classroom. They will learn songs that will teach about relationships to our family of creation. 
The use of the drum makes the sound of the heart as a child is in the mother's womb. The heart was heard. It calms the spirit when used in all our dances and ceremonies. A drum has a spirit as the hide was an animal and a drum keg was a tree. These things have a spirit. I said this first the day I am seen and see you. The spotted eagle has said this. Eagles are circling. They want to dance for the people. To see an eagle meant something good or positive was coming in the future. To drop a feather meant a relative has crossed over or passed on. All parts of the eagle were used in ceremonies, the making of a relative, a quota name giving for Sundance crowns, and to symbolize a buffalo people. An ego is powerful. If you call upon them, they can mend the family structure. I would like to end with a quote from our eldest medicine man, Chief Leonard Crowdog. We need to bring respect back to children by teaching parents to value and be vigilant to respect and honor and protect their child. This will be developed through parenting classes for families to learn who they are, where they come from, where they are going, and how to get there. We will begin by taking care of the newborn's placenta. For these kids of the future, children will know where they come from, their parents. By doing this, they will learn. We can do this if we stand together. They will have intuition through their placenta and retain what we will do at this place. They will be interested and they will learn. Creator teaches our kids to know where we come from, mainly the parents. They have to know about our way of life, a vision, a little school, a playground. They have a grandma and a grandpa, a survival of spiritual counseling, of respect for parents, for that little boy or that little girl. The supreme law of the universe is kindness and care. To get to this point, we need to find people with this knowledge. The teacher may not be human. The teacher may come in many forms if it is to come. This knowledge has been given to us by the Creator. It is up to us if we want to know. Thank you.